quick take on what's popping. What's popping, yes. Essence? So MSNBC reporter Melissa Harris Perry has walked off her show. Wow. So she told her co-workers, co-workers reportedly in an email that um, it has been taken off, and she stated, I am not a token mammy or a little brown bobblehead. I am not owned by N NBC News Chief Andrew Lack, MSNBC President Phil Griffith, and or MSNBC. I love our show. I want it back. And Perry has been angry about it. She was recently over her show being um, preempted for another programming. So she's upset about it, but she's strong because she wants to stick to her, her own opinions, what she feels is right. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. So Mayor de Blasio recently uh, signed a bill co-naming streets after New Yorkers. Nice. So he recently co-named the street in Queens after the late New York Nick Anthony Mason, fallen detective Randolph Holder, and he renamed a block in the Bronx called Hip Hop Boulevard in honor of the August 11, two, um, 1973 party where DJ Cool Hurt invented hip hop. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. It's about time they're getting some accolades. Yeah. Well, you guys remember Diddy's making the band. Mm -hmm. You remember making yeah. a band that show? Yes. Okay, well, Walking reality... Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiefs Juniors. <laughs> well, reality star Sarah Stokes from the popular reality show is allegedly suing BET. Stokes claims that BET ruined her image and that Stokes, Stokes was in jail in Michigan for beating up her significant other and BET reported her t reportedly convinced her to rewrite her story for Queen Latifah's... Um, Queen Latifah's new reality TV yeah. project from the bottom up. Uh -huh. But Stokes is saying that instead of making her story positive, BET totally took advantage of her story and trashed her name. And that's according to TMZ, of course. Um, so we'll have updates on this when, when she's released from jail. She's still mm, in jail. That's horrible to hear. It's like, could we try to help each other uplift our, us, you know, people in the African-American community? Exactly. And so, well, speaking of helping out African-Americans, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg took a bold statement regarding Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, he asked good. his Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. He asked his employees to stop crossing out the Black Lives Matter um, signs on the office walls in the uh, Facebook offices. In a statement, Zuckerberg said, there are specific issues affecting the black community in the United States coming from a history of oppression and racism. Black Lives Matter does not mean that other lives don't matter. Yes, However, it's yes. simply asking that the black community also achieves the justice that they deserve. So kudos to Mark Zuckerberg Good for, for you. putting that That's out there. That's right. Absolutely. All lives matter. They do. All lives do matter. But in this instant, it's about the Black Lives Matter because right, of the racism and and the um, the brutality and things all of that lives nature. are not That's in danger. On. That's why. Yeah, we have the a black life is in yeah. danger. That's what it is. It's actually, just our history of you know the history of, um, of how oppression black, how black and people were treated, being colonized. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Absolutely. So do you guys see Blackish the last? Yes. yes. Oh black my God. Wasn't it? Oh, I couldn't even believe that they had that content okay so blackest recently aired uh, an episode of for the ages it was so powerful it was talking about police brutality it was they mentioned sound sandra bland it, it was just yes. so amazing how they did it. it was with such class i was like yes america see what you would what i would have to tell my son or my daughter yeah. when it comes to police right. brutality it was black twitter was Praising them, I just, I just yeah. thought it was amazing. I it, was it was done very amazing. tastefully. Mm -hmm. It really, really was, and it got a point at the point across, and it showed both sides because I like how they had um, Tracy Ellis Ross, mm -hmm. um, you know, on the positive side, you mm -hmm. know, defending, you know, the police and saying that all police are not bad, and then mm -hmm. you had. Um, you know, um, Anthony. yes, Anthony mm -hmm. Anderson, um, you know, making his statements from, you know, the black man's perspective mm -hmm. and what they have to deal yes. with. So I thought it was, it was really, a really good episode. So it was very, very good. Well, Tiny and T.I. have announced the sex of their unborn child. I didn't even know she was pregnant, but the rapper and reality star and his wife, Tamika, um, from the popular group Escape, are expecting a baby girl. Oh, good. Yes, yes. T.I. announced it on a radio station in Atlanta, and also in baby news, singer-songwriter Keisha Cole and Shad Moss, a.k.a. Bow Wow, are allegedly wait, wait, expecting wait. a child. Are Keisha really? Cole and Bow Wow? Keisha Cole and Bow Wow. And little Bow Wow? Well, he's not little Bow Wow anymore. He's big Bow Wow. I can't okay. believe it. I, I can't thought that that was it. Erica Mena's man. Well, apparently they never. Okay, got, I just yeah, you're yeah, really they like, never got got he, he started. Up. He started. Um, you know, I guess I don't know if they were together with his baby mother. I forgot her name, but her, his baby mother 
rekindling. I don't know if it was a relationship, but definitely co-parenting. But her, him and Erica Mena, they broke up. Yeah, they're but done. But he was already having a baby. I don't know about Keisha Cole. Cole. I don't know. Keisha really? Yes, Cole? yes, yes. It was, all, well, well, it was blowing up all over social media, all over Twitter, um, and all over um, Instagram, and, you know, just the, the blogs. They were saying that Keisha Cole and Shad Moss, a.k.a. Bauer, allegedly expecting a child. The couple has secretly been dating, but they were denying it. And yeah, then finally, it, yeah. they just announced that they were pregnant. So congratulations to both couples. Wow. That's what happens when you get your, your jump off pregnant. You better <laughs> we're together. <laughs> Don't sue me, because Keisha ain't made a song. At, well, no, no, I'm not mad at Keisha. And you know she has a uh, child from her former relationship with yeah. the NBA player. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's up with Effie and uh, Nettie. Nephi and, and what? Effie is that, and is that, is that, is, Wait, is that from The Color Purple? I just... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't ever thought about that. Oh, Shay. <laughs> Nothing. Not the color purple. I love the color purple. I know. Okay.